to me, where are you now? I'm here by the caucus. Oh, oh fuck's sake! Yeah. Yeah. I first visited Italy when I was 23 years old and I visited Venice, Florence and Rome, as you do. I came back the following year just to stay in Venice and that cemented it. It's been a 27 year love affair now with this city. And his wife Carlotta, the owners of uh, every day we do two food tours. We do a lunch tour and a dinner tour. And we take eight to ten people around and introduce them to the owners of the restaurants and the chefs. Uh, we go into a bit about the local wines. Um, and we have been doing it now for five years and it's the best job we've ever had. Hi everyone and welcome to this remote tour of the Faroe Islands. There you can see the beautiful village called Chetnavik, which, we, which is where we are today. Fun knowing that there are people all over the world controlling me right now. I have no idea where you're from, but wherever you are, I hope you are safe and well. My name is uh, Christina. I usually work for the tourist information office here in the capital. I believe you might want me to jump into the, into the sea. People, anyone from around the world can, uh, can choose to join the queue to remote control us. Okay, to the right. The village that you can see over there is called Aya. And once they press left, I have one uh, AirPod in my ear, which gives me directions, which tells me if I should go to the left or if I should jump. This is our way of uh, giving a sort of experience of the Faroe Islands. Someone maybe wants me to go in circles now that the borders are closed. Venice um, is a city that earns 80, 90% of the income based from tourism. Nobody has made any money since the end of March. How do we keep going when there is no income? It's certainly a hit in the pride belt um, if you have to ask your parents for financial aid or to come to your rescue. Uh, at this age and at this stage in our lives with what we've accomplished and what we've spent so many years building and working for. But it's just this beautiful reassurance that our families do support us. I'm Anthony Talamo. I do mobile safaris. Now it's my uh, almost 10th year uh, doing the safari. We really have a challenge when it comes to uh, poaching because tourism is the backbone of the country. Without the tourist, you can't control the park. We go up and down, by so doing, we have a chance of chasing the poachers day by day. We have got a knockdown, so no one is moving up and down, so they've got a chance of um, crossing over the parks, getting whatever they can get. We are really the backbone of the country. So just look at this a beautiful adult rhino cow shot. Uh, this is where the bullet entry wound right there. And uh, just look at this absolute devastation. Most beautiful animal. And just senseless, senselessly hacked off. We are really losing animals at an alarming rate. Um, in this period since the epidemic started, I think we're sitting on about 10 rhino that we've lost. We've airlifted four rhino. Um, 
due to different circumstances. So uh, it's very difficult to, to just sit by and see how everything is unfolding in front of you. Okay, so uh, it's uh, me and Gerardes this morning. We're out on a call for uh, uh, Rhino that was poached. We are the first respondents on a call. Uh, should there be an incursion in the parks, anti-poaching unit needs assistance, uh, animal with a bullet wound, or a dehydrated orphan that needs to be airlifted. They would call Rhino 911 to assist them. Um, so we, we're hoping to find the calf. It's been a long night. And uh, yeah, we hope the calf is still alive so that we can rescue it and take it to the orphanage. There's a lot of random acts of kindness going on here. In times like this, we are all just a little bit friendlier because you know, I know, everyone knows that we are all going through it. So if the person controlling me now can ask me to go to the right, then I'll show you the old Ferry's traditional rowing boat that's inside here. No, they want to continue forward. That's a shame, but you guys are the ones controlling. Oh, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> I will show you inside here. I have no idea who it is. Maybe someone sitting on their couch or maybe on the toilet. This boat here, this is an old traditional Ferris rowing boat. I don't know if you want me to jump inside the, the boat. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, thanks, Nico. I think I'm going to go to the next slide. I'm going to go to the next slide. If you ever have the pleasure of saving a little orphan's life, you'll experience a spiritual moment that will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Dr. G and I saved the rhino, yep. and this is him at the back, uh, flying with us, a beautiful baby girl. We're still going to name her. It's been a pleasure to do this tour with you guys today. If you ask me, the Faroe Islands is the most beautiful country in the world. Saving lives one rhino at a time. Definitely. Look at me, please. Look at me, please.